Hey everybody, it's Laura. I have something really exciting to share with you guys today. So a while back I showed you the Zach box, which was an entire quilt in a box. It's the shabby chic style kind of grunge materials, really fun. And I'm in the process of putting those quilt blocks together and very soon I'll have the quilt finished. But there's another thing that came out from Soya yeah Quilting and it's a monthly subscription program. I know there's a lot of them out there, but this one's different. This one's called the basics box. And as you can tell, it came in a basic box, which I thought was very clever. Good job on the marketing guys. And what it is, is every month they're gonna send you the box. It's a $55 charge, shipping's included, and then you pay tax depending on your state. And they're going to give you some things in there that you can make either a project or a quilt or something sewing related. So what I'm gonna do today is show you what was in the box and then I'm going to make the project and then show you that when it's finished. So starting with the box, okay. Inside the box, um, they gave you a few things. So they gave you a letter from the guys, which was really cool. Um, the creator, they're gonna go through a different creator each month. So in this case, this is about, um, Christopher Thompson, he is also called the Tattooed Quilter, and it's a Riley Blake fabric. Um, there is what to do, the actual scan QR codes. There's gonna be a bad joke in every box that was promised by TNCOM, so I will show you this one. It says, I'm afraid for the calendar. Its days are numbered. And it's <laughs> just dad joke. And then they also gave you a set of needles, which is really funny because I am the worst at changing out my needle. I believe you're supposed to change it out with every new project. And I don't change mine out unless they break, <laughs> which is really bad. <laughs> uh, I am getting better. I did change my needle out about three weeks ago and it'd been probably a good year before I did that. So now I got needles, so I have no excuse. I have a roll of Aurofil thread and then the fabrics. So I have, they're all got this polka dot design. So I have a gray, pink, a peach, and then this is a white on white. So yeah, you guys can't see that. And uh, so yeah, and then the really great thing is they went on camera and showed you how to make this project, which this one is called the Blossom Quilt. And at first they didn't have printed directions. Um, they do now. So if you are seeing this and you couldn't see the printed directions, they are up now. But this is what the finished quilt is gonna look like. So I'm excited to dive on into this. I have the printed instructions. I'm gonna cut everything out, get the quilt sewn together, and show you what it looked what did. <laughs> I don't edit well, so I'm just gonna leave that in there. I will show you what it looks like when it's finished. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, they also gave you a sticker that says Sew Like a Pro, and I put it on my machine before I filmed the intro. So now my sewing machine has some swag. All right, that took a hot minute, <laughs> but I got all of the pieces cut out and now I can start with the assembly. I honestly don't think I have ever spent that long cutting out fabric for a quilt. For a dress, you know, even for a dress, honestly, <laughs> this took a while because there's a lot of little pieces, but it's gonna be awesome when it goes together. Next, it's on to the assembly. Okay, so I have the petal pieces assembled so far. Now I'm going to actually put them all together into a single block. Not used to the intricacy of these patterns. It's beautiful and you just have to be really precise and go slow and not try and bust it out in one day, which is my usual MO. So wish me luck and we'll see how this block comes together. The center of the petal is complete. Now I just have to sew on the border part, which is this part right here to complete the entire border of the block, which is going to be made of those white strips with the half square triangles. And 
I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. Normally, I, I don't do anything this precise or intricate, but I have to say, point there, point there, and point there are dead on. This one is off, oh gosh. I know, you guys, it's, it's a 32nd, maybe even a 16th of an inch. <sighs> yeah, but you think I'm gonna unpick the entire, no, it's fine. <laughs> We'll quilt right over that and no one will see it. So, all right, I am going to sew on the borders and show you that next. I just discovered something in this stage of putting the block together. If you notice, I got the center flower petal and then the borders. And if you look at the directions, the directions say to put the half square triangle on the end and then you have the 11 inch white piece there, which I did, you can see this on each side, but there's no way to sew it correctly so that, I mean, these don't, like here, this seam stops here, and then how do you connect it? So I went back to the video, and the video shows something a little different. The video shows that you're supposed to take two of these and put the half square triangle like this on each end. So there'll be another one here. And then you have your 11 and a half inch white strip there. So you're gonna have two whites here and then the half square triangles on each side here and here, and then you'll be able to sew it together. So I will fix that and show you what it looks like after that step is completed. The block is now complete. You have the center flower petal and, or the flower essentially, and then the border with the cornerstones. Got it together. Now I just have to do this five more times before I can add the sashings and get the entire quilt top finished. The block is now complete. You have the center flower petal and, or the flower essentially, and then the border with the cornerstones. Got it together, now I just have to do this five more times before I can add the sashings and get the entire quilt top finished. And there they are. All six of the petal blocks are finished. Now let's move on to the sashings. So here we are thus far. The six blocks are now connected by the inner sashings, which is the white and the gray squares. And then you have the outer sashings, which is the white and the darker coral, or sorry, the lighter coral. So next we are going to put the outer borders, which will be the gray. Yay, she is finished. So the quilt top is completely sewn together. I still need to actually put the batting and the backing together and quilt it, which I will do here very shortly, but I wanted to show you what it looks like completed. It actually went together very <laughs> somewhat easy. For me, like I said before, there were a lot of small pieces, half square triangles and things that I'm not used to working with, but the pattern itself is pretty, it's a different style and the directions were fairly simple to follow. There were a couple of discrepancies that I had to work through between the video and the actual printed instructions. But once I kind of looked at the diagram and figured out what was supposed to happen, it was easy to go together. So there you are, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.